What's up guys, it's all Ninja Wearing Aviators and Superhero Hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel and this is another tutorial, actually it's part 2 of how to do this sword combination that you saw at the beginning of this video. Now if this is your first video that you've seen, definitely go back and check the first part, I'll have links down in the description, but you could also just, you know, watch this first, it, it doesn't really matter, just at the end you'll have to put together an order. However, today we're going to be going over this striking pattern. So if you want to learn the striking pattern step by step, this is the video for you. But first, before we get into that, we're going to run the intro. Now, you may have noticed that I have two swords in my hand, and that is because I have a tricking sword and a training slash cutting sword if you decide to sharpen it one from Cochran's and one from Sentry. If you want to get either of these, links will be down in the description as well as reviews for them will be tagged at the end of the video. So if you, if you want to get, you know, one of these swords for tricking or for training and cutting and all that stuff, then links down in the description for you. However, for this video, I'm going to be using the Sentry Sword. Now traditionally, katanas are held like this, with distance in between your hands. However, for XMA and tricking, that doesn't really matter as much. You can move in different ways and just as fast, or even faster, with your hands together like this. And you lose certain amount of control, however, um, you're doing this for the performance. So that doesn't really matter as far as XMA. If you were learning this for combat, we'd have a different conversation, but I'm not really showing you guys Combat Sword because I don't find Combat Sword very useful in 2020. So here we are. So our striking pattern starts off with a top strike to our left side, just like this. You're gonna go through the top strike, extending your hand all the way and getting into a front stance going to the left side, all like that. So once you have that first strike going to the top corner, you're just gonna come around the head, switching stance to the opposite direction, and striking at that opposite corner. So you've striked at the top left, and then you strike to the bottom right. Again, extending your hands all the way through each of the strikes. If you only halfway extend, it won't look as clean. Extend, extend. Now from here, your next strike will be Coming, pulling the sword up and then doing an uppercut sweep or sweeping strike to here. Coming through and having that blade go straight out. So one more time, we'll look. One, two, prepare, swing the sword up. And as you do that, you stand together because this is changing your heights in your pattern. It's always good to change heights in your pattern because it gives the eye more levels and more ways to interact with it. So it's one, two, changing heights, three. Now once you get here, you're going to, with one hand, with your right hand, you're going to come around and down, just like before. So it's important that we go into our right hand because the next trick is going to be the behind the head toss, which we'll go into later. So again, one more time, you're starting here, it's gonna be one, front stance to the left, two, front stance to the right, prepare, three, blade going straight out, and four, coming down like that. This will let you go into the behind the head toss, which we'll get into in the next part of this video. So, so if you want to see that next part and you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit the like button and I guess, you know, maybe turn on notifications because that way you won't miss it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. And again, if you get this video, if you get the trick that I'm doing in this video and once you get the combination, do it, record it, post it either on Instagram or TikTok or wherever you post stuff and tag me in it because I'd love to see it. However, with that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.